Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you ever need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? Okay, so with November upon us, I thought we'd be done with the Halloween-themed drawing lessons, but I happened to catch some of the Simpsons Halloween special, Treehouse of Horrors, number 33, with his parody of the anime Death Note, titled Death Tome, which, by the way, if you haven't seen it, I recommend strongly that you do. I think it's running on Hulu right now. Anyway, I just couldn't help extending the Halloween theme just one more week so we could draw Lisa Simpson in her original form, as well as the anime version from this episode. In it, Lisa comes into possession of a mysterious notebook that gives her the power to kill anyone whose name she writes in the book. Matt Groening and his crew's creativity, talent, and wicked sense of humor are on full display in this one. Kudos to all of them. Needless to say, the episode is getting rave reviews, which is all the more reason to draw from it. Anyway, before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow, and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Alright, so let's draw our two versions of Lisa Simpson. <laughs> We're going to draw our two versions of Lisa Simpson step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw her again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. In her regular form, Lisa is about two and a half heads tall, meaning however tall we draw her star-shaped head, her entire body is about two and a half of those. In her death tome anime form, Lisa is a little over four heads tall. In other words, however tall her head is, her entire body is a bit over four of those. Okay, so let's draw that roadmap for our two versions of Lisa Simpson. So there's our roadmap for our two styles or versions of Lisa Simpson. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines in both versions to help me to know where to put some of Lisa's features. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing. So you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. Okay, so let's rough out the features for our two styles of Lisa Simpson.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features of Lisa Simpson. Normal version and anime style. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for that final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw in the final details of our two versions of Lisa. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work to figure that out. In this step, it's okay to draw darker, but don't press too hard or mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn. Always draw with an eye on tweaking and improving until the very end. So let's draw in the details for our two versions of Lisa Simpson. Alrighty, there she is, normal Lisa Simpson, an anime version of Lisa Simpson, from the Treehouse of Horror number 33, segment titled Death Tome. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never drawn any version of Lisa Simpson before, then you cannot expect to have drawn her perfectly, especially that anime version, which presents many extra challenges. You notice I don't spend time coloring our versions of Lisa during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. But now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing regular Lisa Simpson and anime Lisa Simpson. And with that, you can draw her again and again, and by all means, color her when you're done. I promise each time you draw her, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cards cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link below for my free four-part drawing series, where I spend more time explaining the details and the thinking behind each step in what I call the Level Up Cartooning process. So I'd love to see your two versions of Lisa Simpson. If you can, post them on either Facebook or Instagram, and don't forget to include the hashtag Level Up Cartooning. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. Remember to subscribe, and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing, my friends.